Hello and welcome to Virtual City B tutorial. Today I will be showing you how to create a flash step, uh, the fast moving uh, teleport like uh, movement you can see in Dragon Ball and Bleach. So here is what we will be we will be going to create. Uh, well, let's get started. First, we will create a new composition. I will be calling this splash step number one. And I have 16 to 9 aspect ratio 1280 times 720. Okay. Next, we will have to take our clip, or we'll be using, and I will be using a uh, well, there's this guy standing and then he kind of runs away. Uh, if your clip is too too big for the composition, you don't have to scale it like this. You can just press Ctrl, Alt, F. So it, um, it fits it to composition. First, you will have to scrub through the timeline. Go to the part where you want this guy to disappear. It must be this frame. Then find the part in the video that is uh, you have a clean background plate trim it down then move it up to the first clip so here it was what happens is the actor just disappears this is a very basic idea of doing this but now we will go into much more detailed stuff in this tutorial first you will have to adjust the background layer so that it doesn't kind of like move move around when the guy disappears you can use page up and page down keys to uh, go one frame back and forth on the timeline and then you can see how it moves it moves a few few pixels to the right so I will move it a bit to the left like so now it looks pretty good uh, <coughs> And then the thing is most people don't even do this part when creating flash depth but I think this is one of the most most important things when doing this actually if you want to uh, recreate the one in bleach the guy kind of like first he disappears then a small short flash of the guy uh, and then he disappears completely so first duplicate the first layer take the first, uh, not first, but um, the second frame of it, then move it on the top, like I just did here. Choose the layer, create a mask around it. And now we have a have the actor cut out. You don't have to be so precise with the mask points, since the next part we will be doing is effect blur and sharpen and directional blur. This will be creating the motion blur like effect, like it's moving super fast. And then um, press F on the keyboard, bring up the mask feathering options, feather it up a bit so that it's, uh, it's a bit transparent, but still you can see the directional blur effect on here. So, what it does is uh, the character disappears and then comes back for one frame and disappears and then he's gone. This looks uh, looks pretty cool in itself, but there are a few ways you can few ways you can do to create this uh, looking even more dynamic and much much cooler. One thing is uh, let's go through this option. Uh, go press right click new new solid layer. Uh, well, it doesn't matter what color it is. Just make sure it's the comp size. Then you trim it down also so that it's only one frame long. You can pre press Ctrl Shift D to uh, cut the clip in the middle. Then choose effect, noise and grain, fractal noise. Um, this way you can create a cool uh, fractal noise map. Uh, this is maybe the one effect I've been using the most, uh, you can do, do, do like everything with it. Dragon Ball, Power of Auras, Energy Balls, you can use it as 
uh, as alpha mats, all kinds of stuff. But now we will be uh, punching up the contrast and a bit lower the brightness so that it gives mostly just uh, white and black, not much gray gray tones in the middle, it doesn't really much matter. Then bring up the transform controls, take off the uniform scaling, and turn up the width to maybe 7000. Now you have these lines here, you can scale the height down so that it gives more of the lines. And now choose the layer with the actor cut out, the one frame long, and go to track mat options. You can press F4 if you can see them. F4 it brings them up. And then choose track mat, luma mat, white solid. And make sure the white solid layer, the fractal noise layer, fractal noise is on top of this this layer. Then choose luma mat fractal noise. What it does is it uses this layer as mat for the layer so that it only shows up the white colors of it. Meaning that now it, the actor is all lines and stuff. And you can turn this layer around, play with it. If it's going upwards you can do this. This is they use in Dragon Ball Z when when they teleport and stuff the upward lines but now we'll be using this uh, if you're using this technique you don't really need the directional blur here but it um, well it, it all depends on what you want to create now look like looks like that one thing is you can you can take fast blur to the fractal noise layer and turn it up a bit so that it so that the lines aren't so so sharp, a bit blurriness, like so. And now it looks looks pretty good, but there are always more things you can do with it. First, let's let's take the effect folder I have here and use Dust Wave 03 from Video Copilot Saxon Essentials 2. It's maybe one of the most, well, it is the most uh, most useful stock footage pack for After Effects and for uh, for video visual effects and all that stuff. I've been using it a lot, and it's it is pretty good. So you take the dust wave layer, cr double double click this tool here. If it doesn't show the rectangle, you can press Q and it scrubs through this. Then double click, create the mask, then press MM to bring, bring up the mask, mask properties. Lower the mask expansion, maybe minus 20, and uh, put the feathering amount a bit. So now it creates a cool looking cool looking effect some dust flying around uh, this is maybe if you if you're going to try and uh, well in all cases you are doing flash step I I'll, I'll be using this it's it's very effective pretty cool looking it <coughs> creates the movement Seems like the guy is moving a lot faster when it all the smoke puffs around when he when he starts moving like so. Okay, so here were the very basic stuff of what you can do with when creating flash depth. But if you remember the clip I showed you in the beginning, is um, one thing I used was first I took all the layers then chose precompose and move all attributes into the new composition now like this then right click effect expression controls slider control and let's create a small camera shake to the clip 
first you will have to press P to bring bring up the position. Uh, Alt click on the stopwatch and type in wiggle parentheses uh, six comma uh, and close the parentheses. Then uh, put this here and choose a pick whip and choose a slider. So here is our expression. Uh, now it doesn't do anything since we don't uh, we don't have a value for this specific part of the expression. Uh, I will be lowering this to third. So let's put this up like five maybe. It creates a small small camera shake like it's handheld. It gives a more dynamic look to it. And then when you have the small camera shake here you can scrub through the part where this guy starts disappearing. Press the stopwatch, go to the part where he flashes and punch this up a lot, maybe 60. It creates this more um, more punchy punchy wiggling shake like it's in a uh, small impact when he disappears. You can turn this even more up, 90. So one thing you can see here is, uh, well the camera shake looks cool, but you get these um, black boxes around the, f around the frame, so you should scale this file up, scale this layer up, or you can use effect stylize motion tile. Uh, what this does is uh, it creates um, well copies, visual copies of the layer around it. So let's put these to 125, 125 and then mirror the edges. So what it does it's it's mirroring the layer so that it is it creating something for the black parts of the layer. When the move movement is pretty fast, you now cannot even see see those small little details. Um, but well, you can always scale the layer up. But I prefer using motion tile. So here is here is what we just created. So this was my tutorial for flash depth, the basic flash depth. Uh, I gave you some pointers on how to do this stuff and I hope you can create something with this. Next time I will be showing you the fast uh, shadow stepping they created in Resident Evil 5 when Wesker dodges Chris, Chris's and Jill's bullets. This is Virtual City B Tutorials. I'm out.